The U.S. Army Field Band Six String Soldier is providing the entertainment at this year's Army Emergency Relief Campaign kickoff. Hello and welcome to Mead Week. I'm Brian Spann. More on AER in a moment. Also this week, the Army rebrands. The Fort Meade region named a great American defense community, plus some notes from MWR. These stories and more, but first, a duplex in the Patriot Ridge housing area, building 3018, was destroyed by fire earlier this week. The fire forced the evacuation of a family of three. No one was injured. Tragically, however, the family pet, a dog, was lost. We spoke with the on-scene commander from the Fort Meade Fire Department. Pretty, pretty intense. Uh, had fire on both floors. The crews from engine 452 and 453 did a combination transitional attack into from exterior into the interior. They had about 10 minutes inside, then we, I pulled them out to basically what we call reset the fire. And that used a bigger hose line to reset the fire. And then about three or four minutes after that, we went back into interior operations. The structure fire was pretty much contained to the structure. It was very minimal to the exposures. The tremendous work through our mutual aid partners for Anne Arundel County, Harrod County, and uh, BWI Airport. Uh, everything went seamless like, like we do because we run out in the county as well as BWI and we work very well together. At the time of this recording, the cause of the fire is still under investigation. Aid is being coordinated by Army Community Service. Watch for further information on our social media sites. In other news, the Army Emergency Relief Fundraising Campaign for this year is underway. McGill Training Center hosted Fort Meade's AER kickoff event on March 1st. This year's guest speaker was AER's Chief Financial Officer, Lieutenant Colonel Retired Joel Levesque. Around, around 1915, and so they, they built Army Emergency Relief with the idea that soldiers would need someone to lean on once in a while. And any given year, about 7% of the Army comes to see us. Colonel Levesque concluded his remarks by asking Army leaders at all levels to spread the word about the many ways AER can help. At the end of the day, if you are not worried about paying your next bill, you'll be much more financially ready to do your job. Spread the word about who we are. As I mentioned, even myself didn't know half the things. See, after 22 years of service, I didn't know half about what AER could do and how they could have helped me more when I was leading soldiers. And I wish I did, because I would have been a better leader. So spread the word, some of the things we ask here today. The AER campaign runs through May 15th. Fort Meade soldiers can donate at give.armyemergencyrelief.org slash ftmead. In other news, the Association of Defense Communities, in conjunction with program sponsor USAA, announced this week that Fort Meade is one of five communities across the country to be selected as a 2023 Great American Defense Community. The program was launched in 2016 to recognize communities and regions that support military installations for their exceptional commitment to improving the quality of life for service members. The four other regions include El Paso, Texas, Fairbanks, North Star Borough, Alaska, Greater Omaha, Nebraska, and the Montgomery River region in Alabama. The official award ceremony will be held in the fall. We'll bring you more coverage at that point. Meanwhile, on March 8th, Army leadership introduced a new Army brand, redefining what it means to be all you can be for a new generation. According to the Army, the introduction is intended to spotlight the countless opportunities the Army has to offer for youth to explore their passions, build community, and become the best versions of themselves. The new brand includes an evolved logo and the Be All You Can Be slogan, among other changes. Stay tuned to our social media platforms for more on the new Army brand. We close with a couple of reminders from MWR. First, MWR and the Maryland Department of Labor are hosting a technical job fair Wednesday, March 22nd from 10 to 2 at Club Mead. The fair is open to the public and no registration is required. For those that don't have direct access to Fort Mead, there's a free shuttle service that runs between the Army Reserve Center on Maryland 175 and Club Mead. Officials say be ready to meet employers, bring resumes, and dress for success. More than 60 potential employers are scheduled to participate. For more information and a list of participants, go to me.armymwr.com. And finally this week, a very popular event makes its return. Tickets go on sale March 13th for the Under the Sea Father-Daughter Ball. It's coming up Saturday, April 22nd from 5 to 8.30 p.m. The evening includes dinner, a magic show, a DJ, and dancing, and more. Formal attire is required. I know it's not until April, but this is usually a very well-attended event, so get your tickets early. Call 301-677-6969, once again starting on March 13th. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead Week. <laughs>